All right, hey guys, uh, if this looks a little bit weird, don't trip out. You're watching a 360 video. Now, if you guys are fans of this channel, um, I got into this a few years back with the, the GoPro Max and kind of stopped because a lot of the people were confused. It just tripped people out, even though I had tutorials and explanations. But with the X4 now, there's been quite a few generations of this stuff. It's getting popular again. I thought I would get it, try my feet at it again. So what I got right now is um, an airport job I'm about to show you guys. But if you're watching this on the TV, I don't think it's going to work. Um, I'm not sure which TVs can support this yet. Maybe, I don't know. My Roku TV doesn't. But if you're watching this on a phone or a computer, it's pretty easy. You just, you know, on your phone, move the screen physically with your finger. Literally, you could go in any direction. Same thing with the computer and the mouse. Uh, if you got an Apple Vision Pro like I do right here, or the MetaQuest, any of those things are great devices for this in full 8K if your internet speed supports it. So that's just... Um, quick rundown this isn't for everybody i get it could be you know new technology is crazy and it could be a little bit nauseating if you're not familiar with 360 stuff but i mean take a look around my office right now if you're watching this on a computer or screen it's pretty cool um what i used to do in the past is i would have the 360 video and then at the same time release a reframe version which is what you guys are used to just a regular 16 by 9 so that's enough of this really, you know, uh, intro. If you guys like it, great. You know, leave a comment, suggestions of what I could improve on. I know the audio was a little messed up. I've since got the DJI Mic 2 system, so that's going to be cool. But I'll let you guys get to it. Have fun. Hey guys, I got that intro out of the way. When I was driving here, I'm going to do a full test on the new Insta360 X4. If you're watching this on a TV, I don't know how that's gonna work. I think this is only for like computers and mobile. Move the screen with your finger or the mouse. And let's hope this looks cool. Alright, Freaking easy. Hope this thing doesn't overheat. I got the heat shield on it, but it is a hot one today and I'm filming in 8K, so we'll see. You look confused. I'll make you up when I'm done right now. Oh! 
It's got two lenses on it. hasn't overheated yet. Wow, 11 minutes and still going strong, okay. Almost at the lift off part.
alive. Wow, my center, son. Yes. We'll put this probably. Oh, I know. In the shade. up underneath it. Let me pause it and there's nobody ready to back up so I don't kill the battery. Too far. You should. 
watch out right here, Josh. That's this bumper. I think we can leave it there. We can swing right there. rotators to swing uh, back about a foot. So I'm gonna overheat again. I'm gonna pause this part. This is the part where we got to situate it on the wood, the big rail ties. Put it dead on the wheel. See these massive, massive rail ties? 
That's what they want. Um, you want parallel with the bed? Parallel with the bed, perpendicular with the bed to support the weight on this. We got one big one in the front and one in the back. He's putting more wood. You gonna raise it back up? Put the big box under the axle? Who wanted to see you compact that big boy? Is he trying to put those ones? You can put the paper yeah, on? That's, that's I don't want to see it on top of that in the motor car. Let's do it. Go! So the easy part in my opinion is the lifting stuff. I got about 45,000 pounds on just my truck alone. My dad's floating and we call this a floater and we've seen about 10 to 12,000 pounds, but it's the control. They usually take anywhere between like how experienced these drivers are. They can take up to like 30 minutes adjusting it. They got to go through the inch because oftentimes they go out of state. Right now we're in San Bernardino, California, and they go all across the country. See, now they want me to go up. Well. So micro adjustments up to micro adjustments. Got it. Clear. Driver is satisfied with the placement of the 60 something thousand pound machine. Now it's time to de rig. Martin shirt.
Next time. Peace. Well, no. Don't hold the boat